If there's someone who knows fishing, it's Shannon Moore. Let's put it this way. This is my 52nd year of fishing in Puget Sound for salmon. He's sitting here in Bellingham cutting old net from a lead line. Pet piece, piece of gear has caught a lot of fish. It's got holes, rips and tears. I've patched it two or three times. It's time to retire it. Now that this that? net's life is over, he has to find a way to dispose of it. It often ends up here in a dumpster, surrounded by other fishing materials, mostly plastic. That's the type of plastic that's known as number two or what your milk jugs are made out of. And then we have two other kinds. Nicole Baker created Net Your Problem because a lot of plastic fishing gear ends up in the landfill. Keeping it in storage is an option, uh, burning it is an option in some places, and then taking it to a landfill. So those are the three most common ways that gear is getting disposed of presently, and we're introducing this recycling option for fishermen. So she collects old nets and plastic from yeah. fishermen before it gets to that point. Let me get this other chunk. And once these materials are collected, what do you do with it? That's where Trinamics comes in. So the way it works, you just make contact, click the button. It will send that information to my phone here and tell me in this case PA, which is nylon. Trinamics developed an infrared spectrometer that can scan any plastic and tell you exactly what it's made of. That way it can be properly sorted for recycling. So everything we've got here, we've got uh, end of life options for helping keep these out of landfills and the ocean. So you will see some of these go overboard, um, make their way to high current areas and wash up on kind of barrier islands and things like that. So what we want to do is kind of catch them at the source before they make their ways into waterways and uh, make sure they actually get an end of life option. Once collected, the team loads it up and makes huge bales of plastic netting prepped to be sent off. And now it's uh, in a manageable form. And turned into something new. We can grind them up, turn them into pellets, and use them in the manufacture of other plastic products. A way of keeping the fishing industry sustainable, able to thrive for years to come. Recycle, reuse, I think that's, we need to do more of that. Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News.